These days, you can stream all your favorite movies, TV shows, and music whenever you want. You can even stream educational videos for your kids. Well, this week's Innovative Educator is inspiring her students by exposing them to the original kind of streaming. Today, we are going to do a program called Class in the Creek. A brief lesson in the MK Nature Center Theater in Boise gives the boys and girls the basics. We're going to be collecting things that don't have backbones, critters, animals. But not on dry land. So we are going to be going in the Boise River. So it's time to boot up. Yes, I have a You guys got to take your socks off. Oh, oh they have sand in them. And then slosh <laughs> into the river. All right, help each other out. Here we go. Well, it's really hard because it's slippery on the algae, so you can like step on it, then it kind of slips around. The more you do it, the more likely we'll be able to get something. So we'll keep at it, okay? We'll Here. Something. What's this? I don't know what the heck it is. We're putting a net up, and then we're kicking the sand to try to get the bugs out and land on the net. Bugs and bigger beings. Did you find a fish? Yeah, we found this little guy right here. Yay! How did you find him? We were kicking around and then we found, we just saw something fly into our net. I call it slamming salmon. Teacher Carla Morton arranged this field trip to the Boise River as part of her larger Slam and Salmon unit for her fifth grade gifted and talented students at Andrus Elementary School in the West Ada School District. We're studying salmon and how that ecosystem, how the salmon have impacted Idaho. And they used to come up the Boise River, but they don't anymore. A chance to leave no stone unturned. I want a snail. Grab a snail. Is that a snail? No, right here. Hello, mister. In the quest to immerse the kids in the wonders of learning and living. So that they can look at things, not just at the simple surface level, but they can go deeper and look at what's complex. In this case, six to 12 inches deeper. I think it's good that we're like having some interactive stuff so we can figure out what the actual ecosystem out here is like. Plus, it's just a lot of fun to get into the flow of the lesson. Well, I really like animals, so I like being able to just get in there and grab one. Like a big old crayfish. Okay, go ahead and put him back in. Put him, put him back in. And even as they head back on shore and back to school, maybe the river will stay with them simply because they had a chance to get their feet wet in the science of the stream. When a student catches on to something and they have that moment of clarity, you just say, that's it. That's what this is all about. Carla Morton this week's Innovative Educator. And Mrs. Morton says she appreciates the MK Nature Center's class in the Creek program so much, she's lost track of how many of her classes she's taken there for a field trip. If you'd like to nominate a teacher as an Innovative Educator, you can email us at innovativeeducator at ktvb.com. Such a great idea, and the river's always open. <laughs> it is. They were really happy. Ready a good for time. a field trip there. What a great idea. A couple of the kids did get pretty wet. They did. Yeah. Hey, that's the fun of it. Yep.